ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू फाइंड द एग्जीक्यूशन टाइम ऑफ एनी प्रोग्राम विद इन दाइथन द कंपाइलर और आईडी वी आर यूजिंग इज द पाइचाम आईडी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू इम्पोर्ट वन लाइब्रेरी इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द एग्जीक्यूशन टाइम एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड इज द इम्पोर्ट डेट time okay so this is our major library okay so after importing this date time library we need to write a variable that is called as start underscore time you can write any other variable of your own choice here it's not mandatory to just write the specific start underscore time variable you can even write st for start time variable or anything you want after it we need to write date time dot now so this is a function now function will give us the current time and date okay and it will store it inside the start underscore time so this is a built in function of the library after it we need to do one thing and that is to write our program and what is our uh, real program for c in range uh 6000 okay so this is our for loop this is our for loop okay and what it what, what it used to do it used to print the value of c up to 6000 okay uh 6000 first it will be 0 then 1 c2 and then up to 6000 so it will be printed 6000 times the value of c now how much time it will take it will decide by our another variable that is called as the end time and date time dot now now what will happen now means that what is the current time here and after some because there is some time consumption in accomplishing all these things that is printing of uh, the c for 6000 time it will take some time and then after some time passes we will again request for time now means that what is the current time now and then we need to minus uh, the end time start time uh, end time with the with this uh, start time there is subtraction okay and then we will get our execution time so we can write print okay we we need to write uh, end time because end time is greater and underscore time minus start underscore time okay now we need to run it out okay wait it says it's a dot now okay we 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 can go for some specific things that is for date time import date time okay in this way from date time okay sorry it is from date time import that time that from the major library we are just uh, fetching this specialized function okay so now it will not dot now function will work for us now you can see that only 0.06 seconds passed for for this uh, c printing for 6000 times now we will go for like uh, some 60000 now 0.8 seconds are passed it is a bit much time okay so in this way uh what we can say we can find the execution time for the python programs so hopefully you got the concept regarding how to measure the execution time or time for execution within the python so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe